So we've finally made it to the end of my 2024 designer bag collection series, and I've saved the best for last. Hermes. But before we get into all that, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Also consider joining our membership. We have an amazing engaged community, Discord, meetups, extra perks and access, early access to new videos. It's kind of amazing. So make sure you check it out. But when it comes to Hermes, gosh, I think for all of us handbag lovers, or at least 99% of us handbag lovers, Hermes just seems like the pinnacle, like the very top of the mountain. You know, we start out with like our Doonies, our Coach, our Michael Kors. We're working our way up to like Gucci, LV, maybe Chanel. I skipped the Chanel rung of the ladder. And then Hermes is just like at the top of Everest. We're reaching for that Himalayan Birkin and ah, it's amazing. <laughs> so I have been Hermes obsessed ever since high school, like quite honestly. And now that I'm, I'm a little bit older, I have a little bit more fun money, if you will. I'm allowing myself to indulge in these purchases and I found some pretty amazing pieces and I'm so excited to share them with you today. Now, I'm gonna kind of do this in order of how I purchased things, both SLGs and bags, but we all know I'm gonna save the very best for last. So, sorry, I'm gonna make y'all wait for that one. But my Hermes collection started out pretty humbly with a vintage Hermes Rio PM pouch. Now, this is in the black box calf leather with an ebonized wood button with the gold H here on the front. And if I remember right, I think this is like mid 90s. 94 comes to mind for some reason. I don't exactly remember, so you'll have to go back and check out that original video from a few years ago, but be warned, it's very, very cringed. It was like one of my first videos, but this bag, you guys, like I was ecstatic. I think I found this for like $450 over on Rebag a few years ago, and I've carried this a few times. This usually is like more of like a dinner clutch, or, you know, if we're traveling and I just need something small to take out of my bag, this will come with me. Oh, and not to brag, but I am twinning with Kate Middleton. She has this in the red colorway, which is, oh, so good. I'm finally over my like anti-red kick and I might, I might, there might be some Rouge H in my future. Everyone rants and raves about Togo leather, which I have some. I will share some with you today. Box calf is hands down the best the best Hermes leather. I don't care who you ask, if they say something else, they're wrong. Box calf is just so beautiful. It, it, it is a little bit high maintenance, like you can't get it wet. And it does, it is prone to scratches, but all those scratches will eventually just blend together in like a nice mirror finish. And I also think that box calf leather is the easiest to spa at Hermes. So if you can get your hand on some box, you will not be disappointed. Let's just say that. So this next bag that I'm gonna share with you was a little bit of a roller coaster getting from point A to point B. Like we had some ups, we had some downs, we had some curves, we had some surprises. This was originally supposed to be a Chanel bag. Hello, like why? Anyway, I'm just kidding, no shade to Chanel bags, but I, gosh, that Birkin or Kelly, the, the age old question, B or K, B or K, I thought I was gonna go Birkin first, but then I swerved left and I went Kelly and I am not mad that I did because this blue jean Kelly 35 is quite literally one of my favorite bags, says the man who says that about every single bag, no judgment, safe space. This is a Kelly 35 in the Togo leather, which is nice. I like Togo leather. It's a little bit more casual. It's a little bit more everyday. With such a formal looking bag, I mean, hello, the Kelly has its, you know, eponymous Grace Kelly background. It can be a very formal bag, but I decided that if I'm gonna get a Kelly, for my first one anyway, I wanted a fun color. I have always loved blue jean, like blue jean is pinnacle Hermes. If anyone disagrees, you're wrong. Just letting you know, safe space, no judgment. I wanted to do like a relaxed leather, a fun color with palladium hardware on my first Kelly, first keyword. And I think I nailed it, you guys. So this was originally supposed to be a Birkin and this popped up at a price that was too good to be true for the condition that it is. It was under 8,000, which gross, I know, whatever. I had saved up for a very long time for this bag. Like years of planning went into this purchase. Like it wasn't just like, oh, hey, I'm gonna buy a Kelly on a way. I'm like, uh, a lot of time went into this purchase. There were videos about it. We all discussed, it was a group effort. We got there. You guys, I love this bag. Now this did come with the strap, which I don't use. I don't know, for me, the bigger Kelly's on straps, not the vibe, especially I'm taller. The straps are kind of short. I could have a custom one made at Hermes, but not a priority. I love this bag. It has been everywhere with me. I see more Kelly's in my future. I would love to add now that I have my big fun one, maybe like a 32 or a 28 in like a, in a box calf leather. I know, basic. I don't know. I love the Kelly design. I love my peekaboos. I love my Muse 2s. Basically anything with a single top handle and a flap. Perfection, I'm there. This 
could not be any more perfect in my collection. So after I picked up my Kelly, I, I will admit I was fully engulfed by the world of H, like H obsessed for the longest time. And I think, you know, I think I bought this over the summer. So then a few months later for my birthday, we of course popped into our local Chicago Land Boutique. And I'm like, I need a Twilly. Like, hello, I'm ready to get into like the Twillies, the bag charms and, and the whatnots. And I picked up my first Twilly for my handles on my Kelly. So my first Twilly was of course something classic, something very equestrian. I went for the Breeds du Gala. Don't, don't skewer me for my French in the comments. This is the Twilly that I picked for my Hermes Kelly. I thought that the warm shades of coral, orange, and dark blue would be a nice complement for the blue jean, and it is. It looks really nicely on the bag. I also love that the hardware on the straps or whatever, the bridles, if you will, were also kind of in a, in a palladium hardware, so I thought it would be a good tie-in. I, I'm still perfecting my Twilly tie, I, I will admit, but it's a vibe when I put it on there and it is so nice for summer because you want to keep your handles clean. You're walking around in the city, it's better to kind of get these dirty than the handles on your Hermes Kelly. It works out, I love it, and I definitely see a little bit more uh, silks in my future. Now that brings us up to the last couple of months. I was a little... <laughs> I was a little H uh, hungry at the end of 2023. I got my first big Birkin around September, just after my husband's birthday. I waited a week, this time unlike some previous LV purchases. I, I gave a week, there was, there was some breathing room between his birthday and my Birkin purchase. And I decided for my birthday, which is in October, I would treat myself to a new bag, and a new scarf. So what I decided to get for myself was the Hermes Vespa. This is in the Buffalo leather. Palladium hardware in the color Havan. The Vespa, you guys, it is one of those unsung heroes when it comes to Hermes. Of course, you know, Birkin, Kelly, Constance, like we we know the big the big three, but there are so many bags, you guys, that, that most people don't have on their radar because they don't scream Hermes. So you can get these for really good deals. I think for this Vespa, I might've paid 11, 12, 1300 for a beautiful, leather Hermes bag in nearly mint condition. And what I love most about this bag is the Chandankra closure here at the top. It's beautiful, it's weighty, it's in that gorgeous palladium hardware that we all know and love. And the strap is like the perfect shoulder strap. It's not too thick, it's not like a guitar strap, but it's comfortable. And this bag, you guys, when, when I switch, there are a few bags in my collection that when I switch into them, I stay in them for a little too long. I think I used this one for almost a month, which I know you're like, oh wow, you used it for a month straight, that's that's cool. But like us true handbag lovers, we understand that a full month in one bag, that is saying something. Normally like it's pushing it to like do like a whole week or five days for the work week and then, you know, also into the weekend. So the fact that I carried this straight for a full month, that that is saying a lot. I absolutely love the Vespa. The interior is unlined. You have a slip pocket done in the twill canvas. It does not get much better than the Vespa. If you're just looking for a casual bumming around the city bag, the Vespa, the Gao, the Maasai, all great shoulder bags and give them a shot, you won't be disappointed. So next up, let's talk about an SLG. I only have one so far in my Hermes collection. The fact that I have multiple Hermes pieces still at, you know, just blows my mind. I never thought it would happen. Next up, this is a piece that I'd wanted for a very long time. It ended up being discontinued. And when it popped up on Fashion File, I was like, duh, no brainer, in cart, check out. Even my husband didn't argue because he knows I've wanted one for many years, but I got my hands on the Caro pouch. I believe this is the PM size. And the Caro pouch, you guys, it is phenomenal. It is stunning. It is very similar in size to the LV Posh Toilet 15, but it holds a little bit more just because the way it's constructed. So the exterior is just one continuous piece of leather that is held closed with these two palladium snaps. So like I said, this is in the blue jean with palladium hardware, and this is the Swift leather. Now, listen guys, Swift leather, it does get a bad rap. Everyone says it's too soft. It doesn't hold its shape. It scratches easily. It's one of my favorite leathers. Like one of the best Birkins aside from my own that I had the chance to try on was in a Swift leather and it is like the smoothest, butteriest, like most luxurious soft leather you will ever feel. And I think it, it does lend itself well to Hermes bags. Like if it didn't, they wouldn't make it in that leather, you guys. Like it's, they, they take what they do pretty seriously. I love the Swift leather and I definitely, I don't know, I can't recommend it enough. And the Caro pouch, super cute. I would love to find this in more colors, like maybe like a green or even an orange would be fun. I, I need some more SLGs from H. That's that's all I'm saying. So this next piece I picked up for my birthday last year. I went into the city with my husband and Jamie from Lux Petite. We had a beautiful day in the city. We went out to lunch. We went to the Hermes boutique where I picked up a little something for myself. And we also went to the, the Making of Hermes event. So if you haven't seen that vlog, check it out. Ton of fun, lots of good H eye candy, if you will. But what I decided to pick up for myself, I was like, you know what, Caleb, you need a full scarf. And you might've seen me wear this recently. I think I wore this in my... 
Hermes show review a few weeks ago. But this scarf, you guys, as soon as I saw it online, like I knew I had to have it. And then of course the morning before we're about to go in, the colorway I wanted had disappeared. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're not gonna have the scarf, but they did. And I could not be happier. This is the pompous scarf in the size 70. I think when you're when you're planning to wear a scarf, the colors need to be very complimentary. Some of these warmer tones really work well with my skin. I love like the, the whole like cowboy equestrian motif, if you will. And overall, it's just a stunning scarf. Now this also pairs really well with a couple of my bags. It brings out the colors. Like I could wear this with blue jean. I could wear this with the Havan. I could even wear this on my Birkin, which we'll see here in a moment. And it's just, it's 100% a vibe. Like I'm here for it. It is my style and a scarf. And especially after witnessing the exhibit of how they, they make the silk scarves at the Making of Hermes event, I, I have a deeper appreciation and understanding for both the quality, the price point. I don't know, like these are some of the best scarves in the world for a reason. And I love them. To cap off the 2024 Caleb Snell designer bag, extravaganza, if you will. I've saved the best for last. The crown jewel of my collection, it's still to this day, it blows my mind. Like I will still go in my closet and just stare at it because it doesn't feel real. Like pinch me, did this happen? My Hermes Birkin 35 in the box calf leather in the color Vert Foncé with palladium hardware. You guys, the, the, the journey, I know, gross, the Hermes journey, ugh. From A to B to get this bag was, it was an experience, by the way. Like, there were a lot of vlog sales. There was a lot of planning, saving, you know, looking at this, looking at that. Several bags that kind of, like, fell through. And then this bag, you guys, it is, it is mind-blowing. It is stunning. It is gorgeous. It is in box calf. Have I said that enough yet? I love box calf leather. And it's, it's gorgeous. So this is a 2001. So this is back when they were still making them all bench made by one artisan. I think that changed in the late 2000s, maybe 2010-ish. So this is all still one, one person made this bag start to finish. I found this in Canada of all places. And the, the story behind it, if you haven't watched the unboxing, like how did you miss it? But in case you did, go back and check it out. But I actually found the previous owner who was able to give me a little bit more information about it. I also ran into the artisan at the Hermes in the making event who spawed this particular bag and we got a photo together. So this bag, you guys, it is it is something I've wanted for a very long time. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is stunning. It is, it is everything I've ever wanted in my first Hermes Birkin. There will be more. I think, I think I did good with my first Birkin. And the nice thing too with this color, like it's nice and dark, it's elevated, it's upscale. It goes with just about everything. I mean, hello, this look would be a vibe with this Birkin. I think I've worn it actually with the Birkin. It's just so cool to finally have the Birkin in my collection after wanting one since like my sophomore year of high school. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's my Birkin. <laughs> my Birkin, I love it. And that is my Hermes collection. It also concludes my 2024 designer handbag collection. Listen, I, I know I explained this before. I just did not want to film another hour plus long video of all probably 100, 100 plus handbags in my collection. It just would have been too much. You would have been bored. I would have been bored. My poor husband who edits my videos would have been stressed out. So I'm glad we kind of broke it up this year. And it also gave me the chance to kind of tell a little bit more of the backstories of all the bags, kind of fall in love with them all again. It's been so neat to see them out and spend some time with them all. Because as you know, when we have big handbag collections, it's, it's kind of hard to see and use everything in your collection. Thank you for joining me on this process. This also ends my third year on YouTube. We're kicking off my fourth year next month on the first. I don't know. It's just been amazing. I'm so glad we could do this. So until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.